Hello there. In last video, we have seen how we can import a particular library into the Python program. And now I want you to perform a very simple task, but very interesting one, which is a rock, paper and scissors game. Now you all have played this game in your childhood or many of you might have been playing it now also. It doesn't matter. It's an interesting game. So let's see how we can solve this using the Python programming. What we do in rock, paper, scissors is there are two players and they just shake their hands and at the same moment they have to specify one of the three symbols. So one is rock, another one is paper and another one is scissors. And there are some rules to this game. So if one player gives rock and the other player gives uh, let's say paper, sorry scissors, then rock wins. Paper, if given by one player and the another player, if it gives rock, then paper wins. And if someone gives scissors and another person gives rock, then scissors win. So rock wins over scissor, paper wins over rock and scissor wins over, sorry, paper. So that's how it goes. So any other combination would result into loss of a player. So if someone gives rock and if the other one gives paper, then paper wins. If one player gives rock, other player gives scissor, then rock and scissors. So in that case, rock wins because the rock can smash the scissors and so on. So basically there are two things. One is the choice that is coming from one player. Another one is the choice that is coming from the other player. What you have to do is take this choice from the user. Let's map it into let's say one for rock, two for paper and three for scissors. So you will choose one of the three numbers, one, two, three, or accept one of the three numbers, one, two, three from the user. And then what you will do is you will accept one of the three numbers out of one, two, three from computer. Now you have to make sure that you don't check what is given by the user and the computer's input should be completely random. And exactly at this point, we are going to use the random library. Next, it's all about taking a decision on who won and who lost. I'm not going to complete the entire assignment for you, but I'm just going to give you the hint of it. So how will you do it? Print welcome to rock, paper and scissors game. Then A, let's say first user input is a is equal to int input enter a number for one for rock two for paper and three for scissors at this moment the user has to give any number between one to three once you have given it what you do is print you have given A or it simply means that you have given if A is equal to equal to 1 then you have given instead of A just print rock. Similarly give 3 if loops if it is 2 and if it is 3. So you have given rock you have given paper and you have given scissors. Now what we have to do is print taking computer's opinion and here to give some drama into your program what you can do is let's import time and let's import random. So at this moment taking computer's opinion and just give three dots and unnecessarily put a delay of something like time dot sleep three. And at this moment, after three seconds, what you'll do is b is equal to random dot rand int one comma three. Again, the same thing is to be done over here. If b is equal to one, if b is equal to two, and if b is equal to three. PC has given rock or computer has given paper or the computer has given scissors. 
So let's see if it works properly as intended or not. I repeat, this is not the complete code. So I'll just call it rock, paper, scissor. And let's try to run it. Now it will ask you to input something. So I'll just enter say two. You have given paper, taking computer's opinion. PC has given paper. So it would be a tie. Now all you have to do from this moment and onwards is you have to compare the value of A and B and then find out who is the winner and display the same onto the PC. I hope it would be simple for you as well as interesting for performing this, addition, uh, this particular task. So complete the task and see for the output. Thanks for watching this video.